Hello and welcome to New Fast Food. We've got a lot to talk about today, including Carl's Jr. announcing something called Spielburgers, Wicked Chicken is back at Popeye's, plus new items available at both Dairy Queen and Burger King. Uh, let's get started. Okay, so you may have seen these already um, online. Uh, the uh, Carl's Jr. put out a series of videos on their social media networks. Uh, this includes YouTube, uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, the usual suspects as far as a social media campaign goes. Uh, they put out five different promos, uh, all featured around what they're calling Spielbergers. So each promo takes a Steven Spielberg movie and basically shoves a hamburger right into it. Uh, so they did one for Jurassic Park, E.T., Jaws, Close Encounters, and a Ready Player One, which of course is the new Steven Spielberg movie. Each promo video ends with the tagline, coming soon to Carl's Jr. So this got me really excited because um, this is, sounds like a very creative new burger that could be coming to Carl's Jr. And I, I watched and rewatched the videos and I, I looked and yeah, I'm trying to get, because you know the, the burger is in the video, I was trying to get a better look at that thing and I, I was thinking to myself, you know, this looks just like the Carl's Jr. sliders. Um, and sure enough, uh, I then saw the press release that Carl Jr. put out, and they're, they're in the press release they say that they are changing the name of the Carl Jr. Sliders uh, to the Steven Spielberg, or just the Spielbergers, um, for the next month or so. So at that point, I'm pretty disappointed because uh, there's, no, there's no actual Spielberger burger coming, uh, it's just a rebrand of the sliders, um, except for it's actually not. So, the, the, I mean, the press release goes on to say that uh, they're changing the name of the sliders to Spielburgers, uh, but they're not changing any of the menus or uh, in-store signage um, or anything else. So, they're really not changing the name of the sliders. Uh, they're basically just um, saying that they are in these promo videos, but it's all very confusing, you know, especially for the average consumer. Um, you know, uh, for me, someone like me who's, who looks it up and, and reads about it, I can, I can kind of wrap my head around the concept of changing the name of a burger but not really changing it. Um, but for someone who's, you know, just a, a, a consumer, a casual consumer, uh, and they see these videos, and then it says coming soon to, to Carl's Jr., um, you know, that, that's, they're going to be expecting something. Um, and they're going to go to Carl's Jr. It's not going to be there. And maybe a, a week from now, a month from now, they're going to go. And, and that, no word. So uh, I think they're really going to confuse the general public with these promotions, with these promotional videos. Um, and I, I don't think that that's a good idea. Press release goes on to say this is sort of a cross-promotional thing between Carl's Jr. and Universal Studios um, where they're, pr they're promoting the new movie, Ready Player One. Um, and, the, and my issue with that is that, I mean, no one would be able to tell from these videos that they're promoting Ready Player One. And they, I mean, just from watching at least four of them, so watching four of them, there's nearly no mention of Ready Player One at all. And then the, the fifth one that is supposed to be a, a, a burger take on Ready Player One, um, I mean, unless you were really into the Ready Player One ad campaign or had seen the movie, uh, you, you probably wouldn't be able to make the connection between um, a van with a, a burger inside that has goggles on um, and the new movie Ready Player One. I think the, ooh, this campaign, you know, I think it was a good idea, but very poorly executed. Plus, it raises even more questions now about where does Hardy stand in all this? So, if, remember, um, Carl's Jr. and Hardy's just recently hired a new ad agency to replace the old ad agency. Um, and the, the only thing that they've put out so far has been some Carl's Jr. ads uh, that had Matthew McConaughey in them. And, and you know, for people I talk to, those, those aren't very well liked either. Um, so they had those come out for Carl's Jr., nothing come out for Hardee's. And now they put out these Ready Player One promos with the, with the Spielbergers, and um, they're only on the Carl's Jr. Um, social media platforms, not on the Hardee's ones. So, um, if I, first of all, if I were Universal, I'd be like, hey, I mean, what kind of a promotion is this? Um, you're, only, you're only hitting half the country because, you know, half the country has Carl's Jr., half the country has Hardee's. Why can't you put them on, 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 on both coasts? Um, so I wouldn't be happy if I was, if I was Universal about this. Um, and then it just leaves me wondering, you know, what's going to happen to Hardee's? They say they're going to have separate, they say they're going to have separate um, ad campaigns 
for the two restaurants. And so far, we've seen two things come out for Carl's Jr. and nothing for Hardee's. It seems as though, at least in the beginning here, this is kind of a lopsided um, deal uh, for, Har for Har Carl's Jr. and Hardee's. Um, Carl's Jr. seems to be getting all the attention and Hardee's is just kind of being pushed to the side. I want to give you a little bit of an update on Taco Bell. Uh, so we talked about Taco Bell in my most recent video about how the speculation was that the chick naked chicken chalupa would be returning in Experience 5, which is going to be in May. Since then, I have confirmed from an inside source that the naked chicken chalupa will in fact be returning to Taco Bell in May, this time it's going to have uh, two different varieties to choose from. Uh, it's going to be the Naked Chicken Chalupa Mild or Wild Edition. And this is something that was test marketed about a year ago. Basically, I think it's mild versus spicy. The wild being the spicy, of course. Um, so, either way, we'll all get to try it soon enough. Uh, May is coming around and we've confirmed that the Naked Chicken Chalupa will be making a return, uh, this time in the Mild or Wild Edition. One last thing to note about Taco Bell is that coming up April 5th, when the nacho fries go away, it's also going to be a major change in their $5 cravings deal. Uh, right now, the $5 cravings deal includes a uh, cheesy gordita crunch. It will no longer uh, after April 5th, and it will be replaced in that deal with a chalupa. Uh, just a, a regular chalupa, I'm, uh, or I'm assuming you can get any kind of chalupa that you want in there. Um, but that's a, a major change. Uh, there's a, a little bit of a price difference between a chalupa and a cheesy gordita crunch. So a lot of people that I've seen online are not happy about that change. Uh, if you want to get uh, in on the cheesy gordita crunch uh, available in the $5 cravings box, you need to get that uh, in uh, by April 5th. All right, so now let's talk about a new item available at Dairy Queen. Uh, they announced their new Blizzard of the Month flavors, and one of them is a new flavor. It's the peanut butter chocolate chip cookie dough. So it's basically a chocolate chip cookie dough um, blizzard with peanut butter mixed in. Um, so if you're a fan of peanut butter, um, you might like that. Um, I, you know, I'm not a, I don't thought that I don't like peanut butter, but I, I don't know that I would like it with my chocolate chip cookie dough. Um, but you know, if you're a big fan of, of peanut butter, you probably don't care what it's mixed with. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna love it no matter what. So that um, sounds like it's probably gonna be pretty interesting. Um, and then they also say that the Blizzard of the Month second the second flavor is the return of the chocolate chip cookie dough Blizzard. Um, so now I don't go to Dairy Queen probably nearly as much as I should. Um, right around here in California, they're actually kind of hard to find. Um, so. Um, but I, you know, when I when I used to go to Dairy Queen a lot, the chocolate chip cookie dough blizzard was my favorite blizzard. At that time, it was a permanent item. Um, I'm curious: is this true that it's it's no longer a permanent item and that the, it it only returns once in a while as a blizzard of the month flavor? Um, or can I walk into Dairy Queen any day of the year and get a chocolate chip cookie dough blizzard may, is maybe just being featured this month? Uh, let me know. I'd be very curious to find out uh, because, if it's, because if it is not a permanent item anymore and it's only available uh, one month out of the year, uh, maybe I should go to Dairy Queen and pick one up uh, while they're available. All right, next up, Popeye's announced the return of their Wicked Chicken and it will once again be available in the $4 Wicked Chicken deal. And as somebody who's tried the Wicked chicken in the past, I still don't really understand the appeal of it. Uh, you know, when I first heard about uh, it uh, in the commercials, I thought, hey, this sounds like a, a spicier uh, chicken at Popeye's. This sounds really good. You know, the name Wicked sounds like it should be really hot and spicy. Um, only to come to find out that that's actually not what it is. Uh, that it's actually just a different version of their chicken strips. So I've had it. It's okay. I, I don't. I still, like I said, I don't really understand the concept. I don't understand why somebody would want uh, a wicked chicken as opposed to just the t standard chicken strips at Popeyes. And so maybe someone can explain that to me. What exactly is the appeal here of these wicked chicken? at uh, Popeyes. Um, I mean, what's it, what's, why would someone want this as opposed to just the regular chicken strips? Uh, let me know. If you are a fan of it, it is back. It's available in the $4 deal, which I do think is a good value, so um, go out and get it if, if, that's, if that's something that you like. And I'm going to leave you today with a new product announced by Burger King. This is their Frosted Frozen Fanta Lemonade. So it's got a long name, and um, basically what it is is Frozen, lemon, frozen Fanta Lemonade uh, mixed up with uh, soft serve ice cream. 
Um, and if that sounds familiar, it should, uh, because it's actually sort of a direct ripoff of the, the Chick-fil-A's Frosted Frozen Lemonade, uh, which they introduced back in 2015, and was actually so popular uh, that they've since released a bunch of other um, Frosted Frozen items, most recently being the Frosted Frozen Sunrise, which is uh, the ice cream mixed in with uh, orange juice. Also, Sonic last year introduced a whole line of uh, ice cream slushes, as they call them, or the or frosted frozen uh, drink like this. So this is not a new concept, but it is the first time that's available at Burger King. Um, and I think Burger King has to be kind of careful here because they don't want to become known as the restaurant that just copies what everyone else does. Um, but you know, they had the double quarter pounder with cheese, or double quarter pounder king as they called it, um, introduced earlier this year. And now they have this um, frosted frozen lemonade that is basically a ripoff of what Chick fil A is doing. Uh, we've also seen them testing the sourdough king, which uh, is basically a sourdough jack. Um, so they need to be careful. Um, I don't think that they've crossed over into the territory of that's what they're known for is copying people, but I think they have crossed into the territory of the people are starting to notice. Now, I would expect that compared to the Chick fil A version, that this Burger King version is going to be quite a bit sweeter because it's made with Fanta lemonade, which is, you know, of course, a, a syrupy lemonade as opposed to Chick fil A, who uses fresh squeezed lemonade. And you can also, at Chick fil A, get the diet version. So that would, of course, be a lot less sweet. So some people like that. Some people like really sweet drinks and really sweet desserts. Um, so this is going to have an appeal to some people. And another thing that Burger King is doing to differentiate is that they also, you know, they carry frozen Coke. So um, at locations that have the frozen Coke, they're also going to be able to do this same frosted frozen drink with the frozen Coke instead of the lemonade. So I actually think that they probably should be pushing that instead, you know, sort of like a Coke float. You know, Coke floats have become popular in recent years. I think they should be pushing that aspect of it first. Um, and and then the the frosted lemonade second because you know, like I said the frosted lemonade is sim basically a ripoff um, the the frosted frozen Coke they can really differentiate themselves as being we're the only ones that carry this item but we'll see let me know between those two options the lemonade or the Coke uh, which one would you rather have and you know that's enough out of me now it's up to you to continue the conversation down below. What do you think about anything we talked about today? These are these these Carl's Jr. Spielburgers that they announced. Um, was it as confusing for you as it was for me? And I'm like I'm sure a lot of other people. What do you think about these new treats available at Dairy Queen and Burger King? And what do you think about that Wicked Chicken? Let me know. You know what's the appeal to that thing? If you like that a lot more than regular chicken strips at Popeyes. Let me know, and let me know why. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you have not already subscribed, please consider doing so. We talk about fun stuff like this twice a week. Every Tuesday and Friday, I release new videos, and you can watch more right now.